So I've been with Clark County Detention Center for about three years. One day I'm an elementary school teacher. Next minute I find out they're testing for the police academy. Jumped right on that and I uh, got right in. So one extreme to another. You're protecting I didn't, yourself. I didn't even shoot at anyone. Here, I shot into the up? air. Can you stand up, please? I sir? shot into the air. My new blood pressure tab, okay? Take a deep breath. Oh, no, no, no. Hold on, hold on. We're not done yet. Well, push me wherever you want to no, push me, dude. Relax. You want to push me this way? No, Go ahead. Relax. I'm here to talk to you and make you feel better about life. Someone was shooting at me. I'm I shooting right back. Job. I don't give a f I got a Glock 19. I'm shooting back. Oh, I did too. Yeah, me too. Mine's registered too. Man, mine's registered okay, too. But you're spitting on me when you talk. Please don't spit on me. Mine is registered. Thank you. Listen, and I'm going to shoot right back. I know. I, I if can someone you, shot at you. you. Mrs. Uh, Citre. Citre. If someone shot at you, would you shoot I'm back? I'm protecting myself, ma'am. Thank you. But but don't yell because I'm on your side. There's a bullet in my Jaguar! Go check my Jag. Where's my Jag? Okay, we're taking it to a window. We're going to take it to the window. We need to get your finger printed, okay? Supposedly it was a result of road rage. There were people that were sitting there and see this girl get out, start shooting rounds, get back in the car. Dude, the whole actually hit her car. That's what she said. You know what? I think one of the cars had a round in them, so that, her, that might be legit as far as somebody shooting at her. <laughs> I'm on Las Vegas Boulevard and someone shot at my car. What were you doing tonight? <laughs> Nothing. Were you at the clubs? No. Okay. Hell yeah, I shot one in the air. Come on. Shoot back. Uh, Ow! Ow! Hurting me. I apologize, ma'am. Why is he videotaping me off the head? Both knees on the bench. <laughs> Stay right there. What if she would have killed us? Huh? With your own. <laughs> what are you gonna do then if she would have killed us? She'll have her time in court to explain it and see. Please, get it all figured out. out it's a mess, though. Please! Oh, me out! Why are you here? Drug related? Uh -huh. Just pot? Okay, so the cops come to your house. Who's all at your house? My husband. And? Um, a couple of friends. Don't tell me any kids were there. Yes. Okay, how many kids? Two. What, is, what are the ages? Okay. Five and eight. Where are your kids at right now? My mother. You think that there's going to be problems with the courts giving you back your children? Oh, yeah. Have you been to jail before? Yeah. Never? Never been to jail? Never. Tonight's a good night for first timers. How do you like our facility, ma'am? I don't like it, ma'am. Really? Go see the nurse. Here. They crashed into my house. Who's they? The SWAT team. Why did they crash into You mean they raided it? Yeah. OK, why? Um, because they're under the assumption that I am selling marijuana. Did you have marijuana in the house when I you were there? I did. OK. So their assumptions were right? Mm -hmm. Well, some of their assumptions, okay. yes. How much, weed, how much weed was found in the house? I don't know exactly how much. You don't know how much you had in there? I know. Oh, you don't know how much they found. they found. Have you been in trouble before? I've been arrested before. Your wife tells you you're a very, very good father and that you're very, you know, you're very, you're, you're a good guy, but I'm a little worried about the kids right now. Um, I wasn't doing anything that would have endangered my children. The most dangerous thing that I saw that happened to my kid is when the SWAT team came into my house with all those guns. But you know why SWAT came, because of your lifestyle, right? I'm getting from you that you're very bitter about the situation that happened. However, unlike your wife, you're not taking responsibility. You see what I'm well, saying? How am I not taking responsibility? I said there was marijuana in there. Okay, but you're saying that the only there. thing that's traumatic for your children is because of SWAT. Why did the SWAT team come into your house? I figure because you put your children they were barking up the wrong tree. But you said you had marijuana in your house. I did. I don't know what your aspect is on marijuana. I mean, I know there's worse drugs out there, but how do you feel about them? I'm an advocate of smoking weed. I know, so you wouldn't have a problem with your children wanting to smoke weed. If they were old enough to make that decision on their own, yes, I would not have a problem with that. Okay. My kids ain't stupid. Kimberly. Turn the robot. Turn your body to the right. Face the window. Thank you very much. Go ahead and have a seat. So how does it feel to be arrested with your husband? Who's going to bail you out? Your husband's in jail. How's that work out? How do you feel about this being her first time coming in here, though? I feel bad for her. Feel bad for her? You all feel like you're a little responsible for her being I in here? I believe that I am responsible for this. And I've already apologized to her. Was she ever involved in this before she met you? 
Rhonda. You said you've never been to this facility before, right? No, I haven't. Okay, while you're in here, you're going to sit in the first three rows on the left-hand side. Do not talk to your wife. Do not look at her. Do not motion to her, okay? Okay. Listen for your name to be called, all right? First three rows. Nadia, tell us your side of the story. What happened? They were some black girls, and I think I maybe may have cut them off. I heard gunshots. I have come from a very wealthy family, you know? I don't, I don't do this. <laughs> I've never shot anyone in my life. I'm terrified but of But like guns. you said, you know where you went wrong, right? I, I, I understand where you're coming from. I understand why I you did it, but it wasn't to good. my life of guns. My dad? My dad is a Muslim, okay? He's from Lebanon. My dad is crazy, and he owns a lot of guns. I am terrified of guns. I know. Please let me out of here. Yeah. I don't belong As soon here, as I really. can, okay? All right. I'm going to check back in with you in a little bit, okay? Just go over there and just try to relax. Oh, I'm so sorry. Okay, so I don't know what the real story is, but, you know, I can only hope the best for her, and she's lucky that nobody got hurt. No. I don't want to see me here. I'm disappointed in myself. But I'm more worried about Steve. Kimberly. Come on. All right, this is your cell. Step in here. What have you thought about this whole experience so far in here, as far as the processing and all that? It's really crappy. It's crappy? Yeah. Have a seat. Remember, you're going to hear that cell door shut. You remember what that sound sounds like, OK? because you don't need to be back here. Steven, come on. All right, Hartnett, I know you've been to jail before, you've been to prison before, this is probably nothing for you, but family is the most important thing and those kids are the most important things to you and I can tell that. So as far as the marijuana, I mean, you said you were an advocate for it, so that's not gonna change. Good luck to you, sir. Thank you. He'll be out before the end of my shift, before I even get off work. It's, it's sad that's the way it goes, but it's very easy, and that's why they keep coming back. It's just a slap on the wrist, and they're good to go. It sucks, but kids are the victims out of all this. And the doors open up, and they leave me outside, and they hand me my clothes, and, and the key to my ride. Now the night hits my face, and it brings me to life. Oh, Lord, now I'm out that jail tonight. Another night in my street, another night in my hair. Now I'm kicking and tripping without the cops on my chair. Now my hands on the wheel, and my fingers grew tight. I'm going to go home to my family tonight. I've been thinking about my home. I've been thinking about my kids. I don't want to 